When I first met my husband, I let him know that I was going to have a difficult time conceiving. Much of my life was dominated by depression and fear and anxiety. I tried to fill the void with drugs and alcohol and relationships. My faith really didn't become mine until I had hit rock bottom in college. I remember trying to fill that void of church, of the connection, the family, the love. And I was falling into the social expectations and the social pressures. Family of nine, being first generation Nigerian American, my parents came here with an arranged marriage. I thought my identity was immediately around me. I was a drug addict and the life I was living was not going well, after two failed rounds of IVF, we were told we would never have our own biological children. In the last six months have probably been one of the darkest times of my life. It all led to me losing my job. I had a lot of confidence issues and identity issues. I didn't really feel like I belonged anywhere to any particular group. I always felt like a loner. And I didn't want to live anymore. I had a full-on mental breakdown. I had spent my entire life running from everything that I had been told, wanting to do it my way. It just took one night of one too many drinks for me to realize that that was not the life that I was called to. And I can remember the day I was going to end it. It was the first time I ever heard God actually speak to me. I would have never encountered my salvation. I would have a lot of different types of friends. I would be hyper involved, hyper active, thinking that was the answer, but it never was. Uh, God had called me to go all in for him and live as a missionary and uh, leave all work and income behind. Not only did we get pregnant, but I got pregnant with twins and we were told they only have a 50% chance of survival. I had just had a time where um, God had said some things to me and I have never really heard him say anything to me and so I was kind of in awe and in shock. And God has used Rachel and I's marriage to help both of us heal from different things from our childhood, from past wounds of other relationships, to help us understand God's love more. God pulled me out of that. Now I'm married and we have four kids. I am a Christian. It is still a small voice. He said, you know there's, a, there's another way. 
doctors don't get to make those kind of decisions. Only God does. Even when I can see it, you're working. Even when I can feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. We make miracle work, promise keep. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. We make miracle work, promise keep. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Thanks to really good Christian friends, I would have it would have helped me get out of that lifestyle and now I'm able to live free. This is our son. We had him two months ago and we just want to say that God is a way maker, a miracle worker, and we are so thankful for this blessing. Those babies are now almost three years old. They are thriving. They are running around and we're getting to share God's word on Easter this year. Now I realize that being a Christian, it's not just about what rules you do and don't follow. It's about being Christ to other people and accepting that grace, accepting the gift that is Easter. That was when I was called into full-time ministry. I have been able just to be myself and something that I never thought I would be able to do. I cannot wait to see the things he's going to do the next few years of my life. He's taken me from utter despair and giving me eternal hope. I'm just feeling really full of appreciation to know exactly the type of love God wants us to experience from Him. God had a plan for me. I didn't know it then, but I know it now. He freed me, and I am forever thankful for that. I started to realize my identities through Jesus. From an atheist to a believer. It's just been amazing to see God show up and what he's done in my life. And I'm definitely looking uh, forward to the future. Even in the time of my life where I was walking around the most blind, God showed up, he came through, and he brought me through. They were all praying for me, but I couldn't pray for myself. I am a child of God. Jesus, thank you so much for Easter, and thank you for loving broken people. We're excited to take it one step at a time here. Yep. Happy Easter. Yep, happy Easter.